from the studio that would eventually bring you Home Alone 4, Taking Back the House. He is Hugh James, Describer of Worlds. Women in Blue, directed by, not the way you actually spell that name, Donner. <laughs> Rosie the Riveter's sister, Doris the Deck Swabber. Hey, she can swab my deck any old... <laughs> yes, she's heard that many times. They too want to serve. And we all know what that means, huh? <laughs> we do, don't we? And as they take their entrance examinations, they realize that every woman accepted for voluntary emergency service... Every wave means a man returned for battle duty. The men are furious. Added strength for our fighting forces. Now they can do their bit. They're in the Navy. Well, technically. From civvies to navy blue. Fittings by smart tailors, including pins and... Ouch! The pain would be minor compared to her first blanket party. An important item is shoes. Mm-hmm. Get them a half-size larger, girls. Because your feet may swell after a five-mile hike. The heels might have something to do with that. Articles most feminine. Ah, very nifty. Please don't watch me dress. Beds are called bunks. And they must be made according to regulations. Pillows just so. And there are even regulations for folding a blanket. Even sexy pillow fights are strictly regulated. Way of keeping house. And the Navy's household is always neat. Ever since we tricked these ladies into joining, that is. Captain's inspection. Good morning, Captain. Ah, God, I hate this job. Why couldn't that mine have taken my legs instead? Anxious moments as the Commandant makes his rounds. Uh Uh-oh. That hidden dust. Somebody's going to get it. Looks like extra duty for her. She would return from the captain's office pale and trembling. The sadistic training regiment continues. It is important for Uncle Sam to have the girls fit. Well, they have a man-sized job to handle. Hey? (laughs) Should the fate of the free world ever depend on the fascists getting served, we'll be ready. You have to imagine officer and a gentleman style breakdowns were an everyday thing with this crowd. Yo heave ho, my lassies. Please don't ever say that again. Waistline down. Body conditioning is prescribed for the entire personnel in the Navy, from Admiral to Blue Jacket. And now the wave. You can just picture the fear in the Fuhrer's eye when he sees this. <laughs> Mess time and good old Navy chow. They contain sawdust and or horse. What? No helping of potatoes? Bet she's on a diet. No, they gave me the runs last night. But she's not. Actually, she is. This is a very shameful lapse. (laughs) Chocolate pudding for dessert. Think of the calories. Okay. But don't worry, it's proper food for a balanced diet in the Navy. The statement not based on facts of any sort. (laughs) Plane identification. It's pointless. They learn the various types of aircraft just as a man in the Navy. Who can tell? They may be assigned to operations at an airfield. Highly unlikely, though. Robotics is part of the course, too. Who can tell me what this is? Seriously, I don't know. I was teaching home ec last week. And they must know how their Navy is run. The relation of bureaus, direction, and authority. Proper scapegoating techniques. Commander-in-chief, and on down the line. It's class work from dawn to dark to obtain the stripes of an officer. Actually, your name is just gets drawn out of a jar, I think. Bob! Mark! I don't know, but I've been told. Quiet, dear. The men are talking. <laughs> Graduation day. Three days later. Commander McAfee addresses the class. Your real work in the Navy begins today. Except for Joanne. She failed bed making. For combat duty at sea are relying on your reliability, accuracy, resourcefulness, and zeal on shore. But mainly your cooking. The Navy and the nation count on you. And now, Edna McBland will play a single note on the accordion for five minutes. Well, better get to stripping. Officers in the United States Navy, each receiving a commission of ensign from Captain Underwood, commanding officer of the base. They also receive a special cape from Captain Underpants. And here is the backbone of the wave, the enlisted personnel. The naval equivalent of a triangle player. Wow. A Navy commander conducts inspection, accompanied by a wave... Stow that bra strap, sailor. 
An example of waves replacing men. <laughs> a planet where waves evolve from men? Every girl who takes a clerical job at a naval shore base frees a blue jacket for sea duty. Dear sir, f*** you. Strong letter to follow. Code, their first lesson. Here they're learning HTML. They'll be able to use later in civilian life. Oh, that is one butch wave. Soon these girls will be communicating with the whole world. Tweeting and retweeting for democracy. Encircling the globe. Contacting warships in far-off combat zones. Putting thousands of trained monkeys out of work. They study operation of the radio direction finder with its character... <laughs> The Nun Patrol. Another task. Soon to discard their snappy uniform for the work clothes of the Navy. Oh, yeah. Girl to her locker and a quick change. Sweet Loretta. Oh, you guys are so childish. The sight of a woman. Oh, mama, my little. <laughs> jumpers for work in the machine shops. Jumpers? Grease and grime may be expected. Come on, not jumpers. Leotards. Pat Benatar style. Love is a battlefield, after all. Tasks ...and are relieving Blue Jacket aviation machinist mates at homeland air bases. But when the boys come home, they'll be expected to drop their wrenches and baby up. Man, they hire a lot of Sikhs. Seal this Hershey bar here. Men who used to do these jobs are now aboard aircraft carriers in battle areas. Puking over the side. ...have been mobilized... For the mechanical side of air power. Wow, I had no idea. I'm going to ask Virginia to build me a plane for my birthday. Up in the air, Junior Birdman. Up in the air, and upside down. Our air power would collapse without... Okay, start it up. Out of maintenance. Wait, Wilma, let me get my fingers... Ow! Gunnery for the wave. A new field for the girls is the operation of machine guns, though not with any idea of combat duty. Just for dolphin hunting. Some instructors in the teaching of gunnery to new men in the service. Okay, right, the baby rifle goes inside the mama rifle there. An automatic weapon has a lot of mechanism. They learn what makes it tick, what makes it shoot. What makes it tear people in half like they were baguettes. Now it's the wave behind the gun. Number one gun. Beats the hell out of plinking soup cans with an air rifle. I'll say. Be handy for getting the squirrels out of my gutters. Empty door. Don't nuzzle your gun. Ah, uh, Millicent, let's not aim strictly for the balls this time. <laughs> well, she keeps mumbling, bastards, I'll kill you all, but she's getting a lot of bullseyes. Ready, lunch! A mobilization of American woman power so that greater man power can engage in combat. Ah, duck, you guys! Ah. You had a good home, but you left. You're, You're right. right! There aren't any decent men left. You're, You're right. right! You wash out your panties and draft. You're, You're right. right! Count off! One, two! America salutes her volunteer waves. The women in blue. Or in this case, a very dark gray. One could even say charcoal, depending on how your black levels are set. But to my eyes, it's really a kind of deep, deep ash. Well, it might be... Riff Tracks. Some movies have it coming. This has been a Riff Tracks presentation. Riff Tracks, copyright by Riff Tracks and Legend Films. All rights reserved. Unauthorized use or duplication is prohibited.